I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. The morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Like uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Alright, everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the 21st best player in the NFL for the whole entire year of 2019. But it's not actually, because the season was last year. They probably should call it the top 100 players of 2018. But anyways, it's number 21. His name's Travis Kelsey. He's, the, he, he's apparently called the cheat code on Madden. Now, I'm not sure why, but... He does perform when I play as the Kansas City Chiefs. He's always there. He's always there for my tight end attack and my Y, y route. Not exactly, not exactly sure what it's called, but look, Travis Kelsey, I, I'm really interested to watch this because I have literally played Madden the entire year. I've used the Kansas City Chiefs the most out of any team, and I've, I've heard the name Kelsey a shitload, but I've only seen his Madden character. I've never actually seen him in real life, unless I saw him on the list last year. So with all that being said, Let's get into it. Number 21 on the list. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is Sweet. Actually, before we start, just need some 6'5. 6'5, 120 kg. Been at the Chiefs his whole entire career. He's played in the last four Pro Bowls. He's made the first team all pro twice. Second team all pro once. Considered a two-star recruit by Rivals.com, Kelsey accepted a scholarship offer from the University of Cincinnati over offers from Akron, Eastern Michigan, and Miami. Not the University of Miami, this is Miami University. And it's in Ohio, not in Miami. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, he joined his brother Jason Kelsey. 35 games, 59 receptions, 875 yards. He ran a 40 yard dash in 4.61 seconds. He's 6 foot 5 at 120 kilo. You're kidding. 35 inches vertical, 22 reps on the bench. Wow, wee. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading this without, without saying it. On November 30th, he was fined. This is in his second season. Oh, he had surgery on his knee in his first year. He, didn't, he only played in one game and didn't record any statistics. That's disappointing. His second professional season was more productive, uh, although he was fined $11,000 for unsportsmanlike conduct during a 29-16 loss to the Denver Broncos. Kelsey made an inappropriate hand gesture and simulated a jerking motion at the Broncos linebacker Von Miller. <laughs> Chiefs head coach Andy Reid later called this immature. Well, he's definitely come a long way since then. He's number 21 on the top 100 players of 2019. I'm, a I'm assuming a jerking motion, something like that. We might hear about it, who knows? I must have had pretty much the same reaction I've done right now last year and I can't remember it. dancing like that to a crowd of 60,000 people and then going out in the field and performing like an absolute legend. You've got your funny side, you've got your nice sort of soft side, but then you, when you want to turn it on out in the field, you can. I mean, someone like that is intriguing at the least. We just saw George Kittle, and the first person that came to mind when I saw him, and that he was a tight end, 
and that he could run fast, he was quite tall, and that he was white, was Travis Kelsey. Although, from what I've seen, Kelsey doesn't look that, that pale, to be honest. Definitely not as pale as um, George Kittle. His mindset when he has the ball. But I'm sure Kittle probably models some of his game off of Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey, I was a defender! Just watch him do that. It's really fun. It gets me fired up. Ah! Let's have a look at this. That is too easy. Right, left. So he gives a show and go. He shows that he's going to go out to the left, but then he bangs off his left and goes to the right. And if he shows it enough, it's definitely going to give him some space. He saw it quick. Let's have a look at this. There you go. Let's have a look at that, man. See, that ball's got to have been let go from the quarterback well before he turned. That's something I haven't experienced yet in person, is that connection with someone that you know the ball's going to be there. And so all you have to do is make sure you run your route turn at the right time. You've, you've practiced it so many times over and over and over and over and over again. It's just business. What's his team going to say? <laughs> I wonder how many yards he had. He had Patrick Mahomes throwing to him too. I mean, Mahomes to Kelsey? I wonder how many times that was called out. Uh, what do we got here? Let me have a look at his stats last year. 1,336 receiving yards off of 103 attempts, an average of 13 even. Longest reception of 43 yards, and it didn't go for a touchdown. That's surprising. 10 touchdowns for the year, 32 in total for his career, off of 80 games. He's got over 5,000 receiving yards for his career off of six seasons. That is not bad at all. It looks like he's just coming into his own at the age of 29. Fantastic. I cannot wait to see him play this year. All right, guys. We're at the top 20. I'm going to take a break now. I'm going to stop for today. I've probably done, I think I've done 13 today, to be honest. The next one on the list is Andrew Luck. He's a quarterback for the Colts, and he's the number 20th best player in the NFL for 2019. I really hope you've enjoyed these last few. 
I don't know where the setup's going to be next time I pull out the camera, but it won't be here because I'm checking out of this place tomorrow. Um, this was just for the first few days I was here in Melbourne, and I'm going to get something more permanent as of uh, tomorrow. So I, st I still actually haven't sorted it out. So wish me luck. One like equals one prayer. I may even pull out the camera later on today and crack back into it, but we've got 20 to go. It's good. It's a nice even number in my head. It's not like we're at number 27 or number 35 or number 49 or something like that. It's number 20. We've got 20 to go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that over two days. What those two days will be, I don't know. But the date is the 5th, 5th of August, 2019. And um, life is good. Life is very interesting. Life is very stressful. Life is full. But right now, life is good. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.